on to you um capricorns you have the king of cups the world which is capricorn and then you have the king of uh, pentacles so uh the world popped up a couple of times so far so uh, a lot of people right now just gotta mind their business you know what i mean you just gotta stay focused on what you capricorns are out here doing um and mind your emotions as well you know tensions may be high there's going to be some things that may end up getting you on your nerves some people that may end up popping up you may be trying to get to know somebody and it's like it seemed like one minute this person was cool and then the next minute next thing you know this person starts wilding out they start trying to show you how weird they are so you just gotta you just gotta you know stay away from them at this point don't listen to anything that they have to say stay away guard yourself you should be all right then you have the eight excuse me you have the king of pentacles which is capricorn and taurus anyway you concentrate on what capricorns concentrate on health money don't concentrate too much on the past though because a lot of capricorns a lot of y'all have that problem y'all will concentrate so much on the past to the point where it'll get you sad it'll get you get you upset don't do that concentrate on the good things right that capricorns be on um also too right like i said before don't worry about if anybody right now is trying to get you on your nerves stay away from that don't mind that at all the moon and the six of cups someone is coming back regardless so it could be this person that has come back trying to get you on your nerves um it could be one of that transference of energy where it's like as soon as you leave one person as soon as you left this person, right, that was probably getting you on your nerves. This ex pops up out of out of the blue, or you get you re in, you get in touch back with them. They get in touch back with you again, right? Because sometimes life can work like that. I ain't even gonna lie. There's times where I have stopped talking to such and such, and then soon afterwards, I want to say like either the same day or, the, or maybe even anywhere between two days to two weeks afterwards a person that i used to talk to like that they pop up and i'm trying to figure out how does life work like this you know how does life work in a sense that people can literally pop up you're not even dating anybody how would you even know right like how does it you know like how does life even work like that and then it happens the person pops up next thing i know i'm like such and such is back you would think that they would have known each other and they was plotting on you talking about yo you going to call them and I don't know how I don't know how but I don't know how but anyway um so the thing is that the 4 of wands and the 9 of wands represents just remember what it is that you capricorns are going for okay don't waste your time trying to interact with anybody that's a knucklehead Because trying to interact with people who are knuckleheaded, all they're going to do is lead you astray. You know, all they can do is do this five of wands. Because so, what I'm seeing here for, for this in particular is this this person that you either liked romantically could have had potential or, or maybe the two of you did hang out. Four of wands and the nine of wands, right? Like here they are trying to make it seem like the two of you can can go well together. Maybe the two of you hang out. You give them another chance. And they show you why it is that they can't be trusted. Because they, you know, they haven't learned to control their temper. They they haven't learned to be more patient. They start wilding out on you. And then the next thing you know, it's like, you don't know what happened. Or, or, this is a situation where you don't want them to wild on you the way that they used to when you were together. And you Capricorns just remember a little bit too much to where you forgive them. You know, you're not going to try to get revenge or any of that goofy stuff. You forgive them. But you just don't want to try it again. A lot of you Capricorns just don't see the point. And then you have the Knight of Wands and the Strength. Moving forward. Right? Moving forward. And a strength card, there's a lot where you can say to this person, but you're choosing to just move forward because you don't even want this person to, to think like you're giving them play, right? You still care about them type stuff. Because uh, you do, in the sense that you care about them, 
as who they are as a human being, right? You care about their life and you understand that life is precious and everything like that. But you Capricorns don't care about them from the perspective of like liking them romantically like that, some of you. And, e and even if some of you do, maybe some of you do, right? Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe a lot of you still do, but it's still a sense of it don't matter. You still have to move forward. That was an opportunity that you had, that they had, but that's an opportunity that was lost, you know? And, and, and was it really? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you wanted to know if you and this person were, were had great compatibility. You tried your hand, come to find out it didn't. So you Capricorns are just going to move forward. Let's clarify the strength. Clarify the strength. You have the two of wands, two of pentacles, six of pentacles, six of swords and the high priestess okay at least i'm starting to learn them so to clarify the strength card so the two of wands the two of pentacles it's frustrating because they have to have your back like you have theirs so it's very frustrating to where because you're the only one to want to be committed or, or looking for commitment and they're not you know they're trying to make relationships as confusing as possible they want a relationship but they don't want the title Six of Pentacles, no, it has to be a two-way street. The Six of Swords and the High Priestess. And the way that they have treated you, it's not a two-way street. It's a one-way setup kind of thing where you Capricorns have to be the one to do a lot. And you Capricorns already know that they're not the right one for you. Because at the end of the day, all they're going to do is waste your time. That's all it is that they're going to do. It's waste your time. They are going to show up run some skullduggery right because they you probably the best person that they're ever going to get and they don't want you capricorns to actually go anywhere but at the same time if that's the case they should have acted right the whole time but this is how hyenas move they only understand the value of people and to stop playing with people only until they don't have them anymore because they can't help themselves but to overplay their hand. So that's it. Comment on the video, like the video. Overall, you Capricorns are doing your thing. When this person pops up, if they've already done it, just leave them alone. Leave them alone. Just go radio silent and, and move forward because you Capricorns still have other brand new people in the future that you could meet. If you spend all your time hanging out with this person, It'll just ruin the chances of meeting said people, right? That are much more eligible than this person. So that's it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's a link in the comment section below to get a personal reading, virtual reading, uh, books that I have there on Amazon, as well as the merch. And when you click the link tree link, um, it'll take you to a drop down menu where you can get all of that. So thank you. Trying to get the YouTube channel to 100K subscribers. I'm at 15,400 and change, which is amazing, right? I'm definitely appreciative of it. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.